Welcome guys to this tutorial. My name is Charles Stanley. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your first Android application using Android Studio. Alright, so if you have already downloaded and installed Android Studio, you should go ahead and follow me. Just click on the Android Studio icon where you have it uh, installed. For, for my case, I've pinned it down on my task menu so you can easily open it. Or if you haven't downloaded it yet just navigate to android studio.com or you can just search android android studio you can just search android studio download and wait for it to load all right it's loaded up can click on this first one or click on the second one but this is the important one here this is the right link click on this one wait for it to load all right scroll down and you can notice that you can notice that setup takes just a few minutes and it actually detected I already downloaded Android Studio. That's because I've been using this same system to download it. So, yeah, if you already downloaded Android Studio, just click on this particular link to navigate to the download area. And then, all this area are just instruction on how to use your Android Studio, how to install them. But when you want to download, just click on this particular download link. And you can see the latest version here. And the good news is Android Studio works for Linux, Macintosh and Windows, which is a good news. So if you want to download, just click on this button and let your download start. After downloading, double click and follow the instruction to install. So while you are it, let me load up my Android Studio. Alright, my Android Studio is open. You can see I have customized my Android Studio the way I wanted it. And these are the recent works I've done so far. So, mm, not to be surprised, I'm not a professional myself. But, I'm just showing you guys what I already know in Android Studio. So, to create an Android application, it's very easy to do that. Just click on the Start a New Android Studio Project. Start a new project. It's not difficult wait for it to load give it some minutes it's actually taking time because of my recording application here okay now it's opened up now you can notice it says um application name this should be your application name whatever you want to name your application should come in here so i'm calling in my first and then the, the domain name should be the domain name of the company of the developer um, if you don't have a domain name just leave this on the default it has a default dot com dot google so um, if you are you can also see the, that the domain actually link it to my package name you can notice that it added com dot intrinsic dot my first it's just like taking it backward so this is going to be my package name and you can notice below here you can also include c++ support or include coupling support for google developers but we are not going to select all this for now this is our first application so let's just click on next and then you can notice that it has option of selecting the version of um android phone or tablet version you want to create but well, i always prefer to create with the oldest version which is actually 4.0 and you can notice by here by targeting the api 4. later it's approximately give 100 percent of device it's going to work on every application that has 4.0 or higher so it's best choice you choose this one but if you're working with the latest technology i would advise you to use the latest version of android which is actually version 8 and you should know that when you select version 8 you can see that there are very less people who make use of android version 8 sorry for that so let's go back and select android 4.0 so that 
actually everybody can make use of a, the application and we are not adding any new technologies to it so this should be best for us now so um, if you are creating application for wears also watches um, televisions and others you can actually select this this is for watches you should know that if you are selling with the television applications you should select this option here or you can just leave it on android auto so that it automatically change by itself android thing also you can do that and then the api version you can also select that but i'm just going to leave this on default 7.0 so let's just go ahead and click on next button and then I always use this whenever I'm creating it's best you use this empty variable but if you want to make choose of you can select any option you want depending on your preference how you want your menu to look like but I did prefer a, an empty activity so let's select that and click next now you wait for it to load while it is um, okay now uh, for our activity name we are going to leave that on default for now we are not creating anything special so um, generate layout is also going to be selected make sure these two are selected if this one is not selected it's not going to add a back button to your application it's going to be removed but if you include it it's going to add everything and make sure you leave this generated layout and then click finish so wait for it to load all applications um, actually this is where it takes time to load and if you run into some problem along the line make sure you leave your comment below i will help you to fix it let me go ahead and pause this application while it loads oh still loading still all right we're here okay you can see that our android studio have finished loading on also you should notice that it's showing um main activity let me close this off and then i will explain them to you just in case your own did not open to the main area or did not show the same location to you you should not be afraid it's it's just the default for everyone uh, my application is not doing hanging so much. okay actually it's supposed to load up this page as a default page for you you can notice that it's called um, activities underscore main dot xml okay i'm going to explain what this does in a later chapter but let's go ahead and create our first hello world then just just click on um you can notice that there is a palette here and there is a component um component tree right here just below the palette and then under the palette you can notice that there are so many options here you can click on this menu you see the widget menu the test menu layout menu what all this does is show you options for you to easily drag and drop by creating your application but i really think this is awesome to be using drag and drop you can just drag it to your stage once you drag it you will notice that it will be added to your brain tree let me say i probably wanted to add um, a date once i drag it and leave it to my design layout it's going to be added under my component tree right here and you can see view here but i really don't want to add something um, i really don't want to add it i just want you to, to see what it does you can drag anything just about anything here and it will display here and then also be included on your brain tree your brain tree uh, actually includes everything that you've added under your layout area so um if uh, we really don't need it so i'm just going to click and delete them it's really easy to learn android um, studio well since this is our first application let's go ahead and make this hello world say oh sorry Control z uh, if you make any mistake you can go ahead and undo just like i did um you can actually come over here where you see the attributes property um you can be able to give it an id just for later purpose i will show you how to make use of your id properly if you've used css before you should know what an id is but if you don't i'm going to explain this in detail later in the next chapter then the layout should be wrap content wrap content wrap content which allows it to be centralized and then for the test option is where you change the whole world to say Hello, trust. 
and it should update when you click outside. But you can put whatever you want there, and then and this is also the same thing and everything and everything. So here you can actually select and edit um, the property of your of the test in view. Let me see. let me just leave it on. Okay, let me see up combat and then type on interface um, sun and then the size. Let's go ahead and increase the size to let's say 18 so that we get off. I think 18 is too small. Let's make it 30. Mm, not bad. So line space and there are other options you can add. You can either make it big. Um, boat or italic uh, whatever where you want it okay let's say um fine you've actually ended up creating your first application and then actually all this um all this property can be added using your test view you can actually create a test view here and then while adding everything will be added to your layout let's say test view and the another form part of Android Studio is while you're working, it gives you the it gives you options to select. So it actually makes the work easier for developers. So you don't have to be searching for the word you're looking for. You can easily select the options here. So go ahead and add your Android test. Um, what's going to be test? Is is cool okay and you can notice that at the end there is this closing tag right here whenever you type a code and the closing tag is not included it's not going to work properly it's going to end up not displaying on your layout or even though it works out it's going to give you an error while you are deploying the application so hit enter once you hit enter um you can add other test feature such as the font type font family I'm still going to make use of the same um, sans uh, let me not use sans serif this time let me use mono sans serif you'll be able to see the differences in the applications and now let me add an android test style okay it comes up let's say bold the same thing we did for the other one uh, bold italic let's just leave that code and then what else did we add we added the size now it's add test size it's also very simple test size just like the word says um let's make this 45 sp and note that we are making use of sp which which is actually different from writing a css code um when i started learning android studio i got this confused with p Pixel, pixelated, pixelated, pixelated type of caption which we normally put in tears, but we are making use of SP here since we are not working on pixel, the smaller part of pixel. Okay, now what else did we add? I don't think there is anything much. Let's let's view the design area. And you can notice on the bottom you see design and, and test view test view is where you want to type in the code hardly and then design view is where you want to design it as a designer so let's click on the design view to see if our test works fine okay fine it works but now it's aligned to the top so let's bring it to the bottom okay now you can see the different we are making use of um, sans serif here and we're making use of sans serif mono here and when you also click on this one you can also notice all this feature all the features are also included in our attribute area so you can easily go ahead and further edit this also to make it look more like our previous one but um, adding all this feature is going to delete um, the previous one you added in your test area so let's go ahead and undo this change to revert back to our previous okay now I think we are good and then let's view actually automatically added new features to it because we went to add it so let me undo the changes and 
and I think we are okay with this. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like my videos to get more videos in the future. I'll be creating more videos to teach you how to make use of Android Studio properly. Thank you for watching.